When the Union of the East African States was officially revived in the year 2000, top on the agenda was to establish a customs union, a common market, a monetary union and ultimately a political federation. The countries that currently make up the East African community are Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, the United Republic of Tanzania and Burundi. The East African community, I think, has been, is something that we've been waiting for for some time, this integration of the community. Um, it presents exciting opportunities. Um, Kenya is the biggest economy in East Africa. We also have a very strong manufacturing base. We are strong in terms of agriculture, and I think also in terms of human capital, we are a very strong nation as well. And um, what this means is that we know we're going to have a good market for all the strengths that we have as a nation, um, and also hopefully by creating that, um, th th that tension within uh, the manufacturing and employment sector, it should also raise the standards within Eastern Africa and thereby strengthen the whole trading block in the longer term. As of 14th of December, the Secretariat communicated to all ministries responsible for the East African community uh, a notification <coughs> that uh, the temporary uh, 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 temporary implementation of the custom union was over and therefore uh, it meant that we needed to notify the ministries of finance or treasury for that matter the uh, commissioner general of the uh, Kenya Revenue Authority which houses the customs department and all other revenue bodies the state law office uh, the ministry of foreign affairs the minister of trade that all our exporters uh, into the East African community uh, can now uh, do so without uh, the receiving countries imposing any tariff on them, especially on the range of product that was still attracting duties. It has taken a while to get here, but January 2010 marks an important milestone in the EAC transition, the beginning of the customs union. The union has two main pillars, the establishment of a free trade area among the member countries and the removal of internal tariffs, non-tariff barriers and a single customs territory. The good thing about the East African community, the integration, one, the market is going to be large. You're talking of uh, close to something like about 130, 140 million people that are going to be available as a market in the region. Um, secondly, the fact that um, they can grow their customer base and grow their own operations within the region, I think that that will also be, be good because then effectively you'll have economies of scale and your unit costs are going to come down, hopefully in time, as you begin to expand into the region. Um, the third thing that this opportunity presents um, in terms of the regional integration will be purely the ability to move people around. It was costly in the past, uh, you know, with the visas and so forth. So that element of bringing it down. Most companies uh, were having issues uh, with work permits. I think that element will go away. And so you can utilize the best talent from the region. And, you know, in the one nice thing about uh, East Africa is we don't have a problem being Tanzanian, being Kenyan, being American, uh, and Uganda. It didn't matter. It was more of a government issue than it was anything else. So I, I think we're just going to see a, a more a ability of having good educated talent that's going to go to the right places and, will it, uh, and it'll give more opportunities to those who have those skills. The next phase is the common market, a single market and investment area that will allow free movement of goods, capital and labor and rights of establishment to East Africans. This they hope will be implemented in the second half of 2010. I think what you're going to see is a setting up of, uh, I'm going to say, more regional offices. Uh, I think this could be done at a quicker pace if we get the tax treaties uh, in place. I think that's one of the longer stand outstanding items that uh, will help uh, regional business. The EAC intends to set up coordinated, harmonized and complementary transport and communications policies to improve existing links and to establish new ones. The good thing about it is that instead of having entry points um, that within, between one country and the next, 
so that people can come into one country, take advantage of the weakness of that country and move into the other one. When you have an integrated um, region, you will have only a limited number of entry points. And you will have, and then you, all you have to do is to control the airports, control the ports, and then control the major routes in. A monetary union will be the third and very critical area for further deepening the EAC. Member states further hope that the union will strengthen negotiations in international trade. When we immediately uh, removed uh, tariffs for imports into Kenya, there was a feeling that we were going to have influx of imports here and therefore that will destroy our domestic industry and lead to the loss of revenue. Today, as we, uh, as we begin the process of the common market protocol, the truth of the matter is that Kenya's export to the rest of East Africa has significantly increased. Uh, in addition to that, the investment portfolio of Kenya in the rest of the region, not only the export, but even the investment portfolio of Kenya has significantly increased. With implementation of the four phases of integration in full gear, East African governments will be required to mobilize resources to speed up the process and ensure the region rises to its potential.